Hey guys, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net coming to you from Bali, Indonesia, where I have just landed last night as I take the leap into my own dreams and desires. And the reason why I wanna do this video for you guys today is talking about your dreams and desires, talking about what is holding you back from actually taking that leap. Is it the fear of actually stepping into it? Is it the fear of what are these cows gonna do? Five minutes time, but you know, fortunately he's on a rope, but you know, what's gonna happen while I'm doing this video? What is the fear that's going on for you guys? So I've had a number of conversations conversations with a number of people in and around actually taking action on their goals, dreams, and desires. And one of the things that I have noticed, well, let me take one step back. When I actually announced that this is what I was gonna do, I'm walking away from the nine to five, I'm stepping into my own business, and I'm really giving it 100%. I have had a lot of people support it, which is amazing. Like, I'm so, so surprised and so grateful for the number of people who are supportive with what it is that I'm out to achieve. But the thing that I wanna dive into is the fact that there has also been a number of conversations or a number of comments around I'm happy for you. Now I just want to dive into that. Are you somebody who's not actually going after your dreams, your goals, your desires? Are you somebody who is cheering other people on from the sidelines and actually just saying, I wish I could do it? Because I can assure you that you have the ability, you have everything that you need to have to actually achieve it, to actually go after it. And what I want to do is invite you in this particular video just to have a look into those things. What is that fear that's coming up for yourself? Is it around the fear of what if it goes wrong? What if I don't make it? What if I need to go back to a job? What will everybody think? Or perhaps, you know, maybe there's something else around what if it goes right? You know, that is a real fear as well. What if I actually succeed? One thing that I want to say is the fact that, okay, I'm here, I'm chasing the goals, I'm chasing the dreams, I'm doing the do. But the thing is, those thoughts, those feelings, those emotions are still there. Everybody who is chasing their dreams, everybody who is taking that step out of their comfort zone and going after something has those thoughts going on. But the reason why I'm comfortable to be in this space, and maybe you've heard this quote, feel the fear and do it anyway. There's something that I think is a little bit flawed in that particular quote, you know, just suppressing it and just doing it. But the fear is actually a real thing. And one of the things that I teach in my coaching programs is around self-awareness, actually understanding what is those unconscious triggers? Because when we can start to dive into the unconscious understanding of it and bring it into the conscious reality, we actually have a chance to be standing strong in the face of those fears. So it's not a case of feel the fear and doing it anyway. It's a case of being aware of it and then being able to consciously choose the next way to step and the next way to go about it. What is it that is holding you back from actually chasing your dreams? Is it that fear? I want to invite you to grab out a pen, grab out a piece of paper and actually write down what is my heart's desire? What is it that I truly want to do? And then write down, what is all of those fears? Because I'll give you an insight. One of the biggest motivating factors for myself, not something that I speak about a lot of, but the truth of the matter is, in the last couple of months, it's something that has really, really been a driving factor for myself. It's something that I have deeply connected with. And that is the fact that we are all going to die. And I used to think that that was extremely morbid. I used to think, how can somebody be motivated by this concept that we are going to die? But yet the thing is, what I've actually started to really sit with is actually acknowledging it because acknowledging it is actually a powerful thing and it gives you power instead of taking away the power from yourself by living in fear of it. By connecting in with this idea that we're going to die, I am sitting with this thought, if I was to die tomorrow, would I regret not going after it? Now, once you've written down all of those fears, once you've written down what it is that your heart's desire is, what it is that you truly deeply want to do and create in your life, sit with that concept. If you don't do something about it and you were to die tomorrow, are you happy or are you going to be living with the thought of regret on your deathbed? Because I know for me, the fear of living with regret of not going after it far outweighs the fear of going for it and it not succeeding. So this is a big, big thing. I really wanna invite you to check in with that. So what is it that's holding you back? What is it your heart's desire is? Write in the comments, I wanna hear it. What is something that you deeply desire to do but you're too scared and too fearful to actually take that leap? Let's start a conversation. Let's see what these things are because I can assure you when you work beyond it, they're really not an issue. So guys, as always, if you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.